Hey guys, welcome back once again to another edition of Fan Cam Commentary. Uh, again, here with you is Stevie Looney. Um, today we're going to be looking at a, a, another old school match. This one's from a 1983 All Japan Pro Wrestling. Terry Funk versus Stan the Lariat Hansen. Uh, this should be a really interesting match here today. I know I say that every time, and hopefully it's interesting every time I say it. Um, straight out the gate, though, I just wanted to kind of s s let everybody know that's checking this out. Um, thank you, first of all, for joining me here on YouTube. I've had a, uh, an in influx of uh, subscribers here in the last two weeks to a month, month and a half. Um, just hit the 250 mark, which, which was my second goal. Of course, uh, the next one's going to be 500. Uh, but yeah, everybody's joining me. Thank you so much. That's awesome. Uh, just started a fan cam commentary page as well. Uh, if anybody would like to go like and uh, follow that page, that'd be awesome. Right now, I'm just right at 80 followers. Uh, I think 79, actually. And uh, I've been posting it. Once I reach 100 followers on Facebook on, that, uh, on the fan cam page, I'm going to drop the only video that's ever been actually banned from YouTube. Uh, it got a copyright strike by New Japan Pro Wrestling, but it's the Muda scale match. Um, Hase versus Muda. But yeah, I'm going to drop that on on Facebook. Um, Facebook, they don't, I wish YouTube would do what Facebook does. They, they don't monetize, it, but you can still drop the content. Um, so we're starting out here with two absolute legends, Terry Funk and Stan Hansen. Man, this is going to be crazy. Both these guys known for being Crazy, honestly. Stan Hansen don't take no shit. Terry Funk don't take no shit. Two Texans here in Japan. Both extremely popular in Japan. Had long careers. Terry Funk had an insanely long career. Um, yeah, this should be cool. But yeah, yeah. Please go, go. Give that Facebook page a look at. Uh, Dropping daily content. Uh, just trying to trying to keep the ball rolling here. But um, but yeah, there's gonna be new videos dropped on there. Uh, got a lot of new things in the works. Um, potentially coming up this year as well. Hoping to just keep growing this channel. Terry Funk opening up on Stan Anson here, though. It's that last little slap to the face there was just disrespectful. It's Revan. Terry Funk, Stan Hansen, All Japan Pro Wrestling, locking up again right here in the middle of the ring. Stan Hansen pushing Funk all the way out of the ring here. Just delivering blow after blow to the head. Oh, I'm not putting the boots to him. Funk coming right back in there, though. Not going to let Stan Hansen get the better of him. Not this early. You can't do that. Referee checking on Funk there. Hansen's ready to keep going. Terry Funk rearing back, ready to go as well. Another collar nebo tie up by these two legends. Trying to scoop slam a body slam by Terry Funk. A little bit too early. To be doing that to Stan Hansen here. Big elbow to the back of the head. Oh, Hansen, blow to the midsection. Two to the face, three to the face. Big body slam by Hansen with ease and a huge elbow drop to follow up. We got to cover one, two, two count. Terry Funk getting down early. Picking him up by the hair of the head. Big knee right to the side of the head. Stiff knee by Stan Hansen. Hit to the back. Uh, Stan Hansen. Notoriously known for delivering stiff blows. Uh, of course, we've learned that he was nearsighted. And he just a look at light in Terry Funk's chest up right now with some chop after chop and another right hand. These right here, these are in my top, top, top tier favorite wrestlers. Uh, I'd consider Terry Funk my absolute favorite wrestler, but, Ter but Stan Hansen's right there. Um, I, I, I love pro wrestling and I love a lot of pro wrestlers, but there's a, a lot of guys that I'll just like go out of my way to go see. and. I've went out of my way to go see both of these guys before. Just, ah, oh, just uh, raining his head down into that top turnbuckle of Stan Hansen. Terry Funk hurting early here in this match. But, yeah, on uh, YouTube, thank you for joining me. Please subscribe, like, share. All that helps me out. Uh, please leave a comment. Uh, all of that helps break this shitty YouTube algorithm that we all live with. Um, try to get it broken through from any of the huger huger channels that they that they don't want to they don't want to take the shot off of or whatever it is uh, i've had one ch one video actually break through it was the race and flare video and I, I think that was strictly because of the undertaker uh, i've said this before but he was on that episode of the hot ones and on that episode uh, they asked him uh if there's any matches of fans could look up on youtube that you know you would recommend and he mentions that the influx of that video has been awesome and, which i love but yeah, any of that, any of that helps me out. 
Um, leave in the comment suggesting a match that you may want to see. If I can do it, big drop kick on the floor by Terry Funk on the Hanson. Hanson into the front row there. Of course, there's no guardrails here in All Japan Pro Wrestling. At least not here in 1984. Doing a little, little bit of the old time traveling. Hanson back into the ring. Lock him back up. Going to try to body slam Hanson again. And still not going to be able to get him up. It doesn't look like he did. Yeah. Big show of strength by the Funker. That was awesome. Right. But it took a lot out of him. And he's down now. He's going to try to. Oh, just a headbutt. Unprotected headbutt. Right to stay in Hanson. Another one. That one to the side of the head. More to the ear. Do a lot of damage to someone's face and ear with your head. Even their head. Go for a Terry Funk pile driver. No, big back body drop by Hanson. Getting out of that that position there. Could have been could have been bad if Funk would have dropped a, a oh big knee drop right to the side of the head of Funk. Funk known for delivering pile drivers to finish matches. Oh man, and just delivering blow after blow, just putting the boots to the referee's getting in there, putting the count because he was doing. Not yet. And I'm, I'm sure in all Japan, I know if you're kicking somebody the toe of the boot that's illegal either way you put it and he's now just choking him on that bottom rope and the referee trying to get in there to break him off of Terry Funk Terry Funk here back up on his feet vertical base trying to covering up after an elbow to the back of the head that time a forearm to the neck another boot a Stan Hansen oh man right to the chest again third one Funk not going down though there, the fourth one takes him off his feet. Another big elbow drop of Hanson. We got to cover one, two, two count. Oh, stay in Hanson. Another one. Oh, no, just putting him in a bulldog headlock here. Great contest here, man. This is what wrestling should be always. I love all sorts of pro wrestling. I love comedy wrestling. I love deathmatch wrestling. Um, I love uh, I love classic wrestling, but this is my favorite stuff right here. You have two guys that know what they're doing in there giving each other hell, working with each other, still putting on a hell of a contest. That's what professional wrestling is to me. Side headlock standing up. He's going to try to give him a backdrop here. looks like, yes, I seen him telegraphing it there by the positioning he was getting in with his feet and his arms around the waist of Stan Hansen. And a big knee drop right to the leg of Stan Hansen. Trying to take the wheels off the big man here. That would be smart to do by Terry Funk as you can see Hanson realizes what's happening just again doing what he can putting the boots to his, the side of the head of Funk and Funk because Funk wants to put on that toe hold here the spinning toe hold the Funk's famous for the spinning toe hold ah oh, here it is put it on early a little too early as he's got it locked in but Hanson putting the boots kicks off Funk putting it back on again though referee needs to get in there and oh, a blow to the head Hanson doing everything he can to get out of this move and he does successfully he was in a bad position there getting in the, in the, in the toe hold by someone like Terry Funk who has won world heavyweight championships with that move takes his leg out again and he's going back to it again oh, can't get him as Hanson's still just a little too fresh for, to be putting a toe hold on oh Funk's bloody I can see it draining down on Hanson he's opened up Funk with those right hands, I would say, as I've seen the blood coating the chest of Stan Hansen here. We're going to have a graphic contest, I believe, here. All Japan Pro Wrestling during this time period was pretty violent and bloody. Um, a lot of people like to talk about the early 90s, the mid-90s, All Japan Pro Wrestling, and, you know, that era rules as well. But in the late 70s into the early 80s of All Japan was really cool as well. Oh, there it is, Stolt, spinning toe hold. Again on Hanson, open wide up as Funk, but he's still got the toe hold on Hanson here. As the referee's getting in there, he's in a good position to see. And Funk, ah, oh, he's gonna, he's not gonna be able to hold it. He said he was gonna say he's in a good position. As you can see, he's out on his feet here, still putting on that toe hold. As Hanson is just delivering boot after boot, trying to get out of Funk, and Funk could not lace the hold on to get a victory here. What a contest here on fan cam commentary. Ah, oh, another blow to the back. But again, Funk taking the wheels out from Hanson. All Hanson can do is punch and kick at Funk right now, and he's doing a good job of it because Funk is busted wide open, bloody as hell. And here comes Funk raining down some blows of his own. Got tired of taking a beating. 
These guys are just punching the hell out of each other here. Oh, look at Funk. That's a good shot there. The crimson mask, if you will. Gordon Sola used to say, no, headbutt. Right to the head of Hanson. Funk. Funk is not done yet. It's Hanson towering over Funk here. Funk at this time, of course, was a former NWA World Heavyweight Champion. Ducks the clothesline, slides out of it, and gets that that leg again. Toe hold again, but Terry Funk, man. Terry Funk, that was a beautiful move. Still couldn't hold it that time he hit the ref. Stay at Hanson, kicked Funk, and he knocked the referee out of the ring there. That is not good. There is no referee in this contest right now. And a big back draw. No, no. He just crotched Terry Funk on the top rope. Whoa, Funk just ran out into the crowd, crot holding his crotch there. That could not have felt good. Now Hanson with the referee away. Oh, he's got, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure what he got there. I saw he's undoing the turnbuckle, but no. I think he got his bull rope there with the bell on it. As the young boys out there attending to Terry Funk are trying to. Oh, man. Yeah, Stan Hansen wrapping, wrapping the bull rope around Terry Funk's neck as he's going to drag him back to the ring here the hard way. Need to, need to see if that referee is recovered out there. Who's checking on the ref? Maybe that's who the young boy's around. I couldn't really see. It looked like he was around Funk, though. But, yeah, Funk out there and those streamers the fans have thrown at the beginning of this contest. Yeah, Stan Hansen. Just pulling on Funk. Oh, delivered. I think it was a table out there. Just threw him head first into his steel. Just hanging. Got him around the neck with that bull rope. Kicking him in the head here. The referee still not in the ring. Funk doing everything he can to get out of that. Around his neck. Just got stomped right in the face there by Hanson. Oh, man. Just putting the boots to him. This is brutal, guys. This is brutality. This is a violent affair. Funk just looking like a fish out of water here, just flopping around. I'm not sure if that's the bull rope he brought out, but he's definitely got a rope around his neck and just putting the boots to his head. This is extremely graphic and violent here for a fan cam commentary episode. Hanson looks like he's getting him outside the ring to try to continue. He's not only choking him, but he's got the rope around his, uh, around his mouth now. Terry Funk, worse for wear, no doubt about it, just like... Oh, man, getting as much leverage as he can here. Stan Hansen is killing Terry Funk here. No pun intended. This man, he's 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 putting it to Terry Funk here. As the crowd is just looking on in dismay. Finally get rid of that rope there after he looked what looks like a lifeless body of Terry Funk. Dropping a knee down again. Looks like he's going to go to her for a cover, but there's no referee to make the cover stand. There, the referee finally getting back in there. Terry Funk, I think he's under the ropes there on the far side. Oh, man, that might have been it, though. Terry Funk right, pulls it back in here. Oh, just putting some more blows to the head of Terry Funk. Man, two absolute legends just pounding the shit out of each other. Terry Funk is taking the worst of it right now. Big elbow to the top of the head. Oh, my Lord. The referee needs to get in there and get some separation here. Check on Terry. Terry, after being choked over there on the far side, cannot be doing good. How much oxygen did he lose? Getting a little bit of a spring. A big knee drop to the chest and throw to Terry Funk by Stan Hansen. Referee needs to get Stan off the ropes here, and he's coming out. Who's that? Is that Dory? Dory Funk making his way down to the ring. This is too much for Dory to see. Yeah, Dory Funk's getting in there, folks. Dory Funk blow, putting the blows. Another former NWA World Heavyweight Champion to stay in hands, and he's supposed to ref out of the way as well. We're going to have a disqualification here. I don't think we're going to have a finish in this contest, but it's Dory Funk kept throwing the referee completely out of the way. Had seen enough, and he's going to put a fresh spinning toe hold. Oh, he couldn't get it on Hanson either. He's back up, though. These boys are just fighting. A scoop slam by Hanson on Dory Funk. He couldn't see any more. Got out of the way of the elbow, though, of Terry getting beat up. Off the ropes. Big right hand, a forearm even, by Dory Funk right into the side of the head of Stan Hansen. And Stan Hansen's getting out of the way, running through the crowd, just pushing young boys out of the way, maybe even fans. Dory Funk Jr. coming in to make the save on Terry Funk. It wasn't even about a cover at that point, folks. It was all about brutality. Stan Hansen was destroying Terry Funk there. 
that was insane. Dory Funk had to come out to save his his actual brother, the Funk Brothers, notorious in professional wrestling. What a match. That was crazy, folks. As you can see, Terry Funk getting checked on now. I think that that, that, could, that might be Onita in there actually checking on Terry. Uh, Onita being a longtime fan, a uh, friend of the Funks. And, uh, of course, at the time being in All Japan Pro Wrestling, I'm pretty sure that is Onita. That's, that's a, a, a Tsushi Onita right there checking on Terry Funk in this 1984 clip of Hanson and Funk from All Japan. Man, what a match, though. So much storytelling here. As uh, the fans just don't even know what they've witnessed. They are an attempted murder, if you will, by Stan Hansen as they're trying to bring Funk. Funk just don't even know what to do. Just look as you can see, still wearing the crimson mask and still just bleeding profusely out of the head. And he's looking around like, what happened, I believe. I believe he was out, folks. Hansen was just beating the holy hell out of Terry Funk there at the end. See the Funks getting, uh, the, excuse me, the fans getting behind Terry. Huge fan favorite here. The Japanese crowd loves Terry Funk. Terry Funk crawling out of the ring here. Maybe going to fall out of the ring here. Terry or Dory needs to get up under him there, or, or Onita. <laughs> wow, what a match. Uh, again, thank you for joining me, folks. Um, don't mean to wear it out. Hit that subscribe button. Click like. Uh, again, Facebook, hit it up. Fan cam, com fan cam commentary, if you search that, you should be able to find my page. Uh, it's super fresh, not a lot of followers yet, but we're going to try to get those numbers up. Uh, I've been, it's been up for less than a week, and it's already doing pretty well. Um, the daily content is already dropping. Um, but, yeah, uh, and, and again, leave a comment here on YouTube or even on Facebook, if whatever you want to see maybe in the future. Um, don't forget on Wednesdays, Rewind Wednesdays, drop at 11 a.m., um, an uncommentated professional wrestling classic match that I'll drop. And then, um, of course, on Sundays, like this one, the uh, fan cam commentary episode with the actual commentary by myself. But, um, yeah, as you can see, Funk making his way back. Dory trying to help him out. The young boys trying to help him out. Just a sea of people worried about Terry Funk here. But a wild, wild contest here early in 2021 for fan cam commentary. See, Terry's just out, completely out on his feet, being led out right now. I believe that's Onita leading him out with the young boys, arm in arm with him, and Dory leading in from behind. Funk raising up the arm, though, as the crowd just trying to touch him, trying to get close. Huge, I mean, the fans love Terry Funk. I don't know if anybody's, if you've watched this, you've probably seen the retirement footage of Terry Funk leaving uh, around this time, actually. And um, it's just really emotional, and he's really emotional. Of course, he did not retire, and he's retired numerous times. But just they, they love some Terry Funk. And, uh, hell, you can't blame him. Terry Funk has revolutionized wrestling, reinvented himself numerous times over, one of the greatest of all times. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much. Huge shot there. You can see the, the capacity crowd that was watching this contest in 1984. Um, but, yeah, joining me next time, and I appreciate you joining me this time. Uh, thanks, and I will uh, catch you on the next one.